Hey. So I am kind of getting a little depressed. Um, obviously, I had a huge, huge breakthrough with my daughter actually texting me. And admittedly, she was texting me for me to leave her alone. But she texted me. And I'm fairly certain it was actually her, although she could have had a proxy text on her behalf. Um, I'm getting angry, not with her, of course, not with Hunter, but I'm getting angry. Um, I need to punish the people that did this. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm really thinking about hurting people. I'm thinking about like taking my father's head and stomping it into the ground until he's dead. I'm thinking about, you know, feeding my mother strychnine and watching her just seize out and die pain uh, they deserve to die like this they're far from the only ones you know there's a long list of judges um, and police officers who deserve to die they do and more and more I'm, I've I'm becoming convinced that you know the only way they're ever gonna be punished is with like a, a war of like a biblical level war because they're not gonna stop they're not just gonna say oh sorry we kidnapped your children sorry we sold them to this scumbag sorry we never allowed you to talk to them sorry we tortured you for all those years sorry sorry we we broke you and we locked you in that room we're sorry and we're gonna go ahead and punish ourselves for those crimes no they're not gonna do that they're simply not able to self-govern. They're not able to look at themselves and say, yes, I did something wrong. Yes, I did something wrong. What I did was wrong. I, I made a mistake and I didn't correct it. Or I had malicious intention and the other person who was supposed to correct me didn't do their job. It's one of those things you know, they're not going to admit it. They're not going to, they're not going to stop doing it to other people's children. They're not, this is how they make their living, you know. Oh, um, they don't work. They don't have jobs that they go to. They go and traffic children. They go and corrupt children. They go and find these terrible mothers and they shovel money in their face until they can purchase the children. It's what they do. It's how they have survived for at least a hundred years in this country. Um, you know, and it's not, I know they're not all Catholics. There are plenty of, of pedophiles and corrupt cops and corrupt politicians who are not Catholic. Um, I happen to believe that that's the heart of the, the corruption is the, the pedophiles in the Catholic church, you know, um, but they've corrupted plenty of people who are not Catholic or who are only kind of sort of Catholic, you know, the convenient Catholics when it's time to get paid the mafia. Um, we need a war. We need to take these people who won't put themselves in jail and we need to put them on the ground and we need to stomp on their heads until they're piles of goo. You know, we really do. It's not, it's not going to end up good any way you slice it, but you know, they need to, basically they need to be in pain when they die, you know? The, the important part about sending someone to hell 
is their state of mind when they die. And if they're not suffering and in pain when they die, they might not go to hell, like not immediately. So I think that it's really important that they die in pain. You know, it's, uh, it's the frequency that your heart, your soul is vibrating at, at the time it leaves your body that kind of determines where it ends up or where it's received. And um, they really do deserve to die in pain. And they really do deserve to end up in hell. I really want to send them there. I really, really do.